Good morning, I'm Pranab Prakha. Let's take a look at newspaper headlines published from Delhi today. First, the Indian Express. All the drama in Tamil Nadu has now boiled down to trust vote. Here, the stage is set for Chief Minister Idapati K. Palaniswamy, a loyalist of AIA DMK chief VK Sasikala, lodged in Bangalore jail to prove the majority of his government on Saturday. When the assembly goes for the trust vote at 11 a.m., there is parallel with history. Nearly 30 years ago, after the death of party founder M. G. Ramachandran in 1988, a similar show of strength split the party between MGR's widow Janki Ramachandran and late J. J. Lalitha, the then propaganda secretary of the AIADMK. The headline says, House to vote in Tamil Nadu battle today. In another news in the Indian Express, the serious allegation against Aam Admi Party MLA. Aam Admi Party MLA's father-in-law is the NGO that served midday meal. Well, the midday meal is fine, but then nine students from a government school were hospitalized after consuming midday meal in which dead rats were alleged found. Police told the Indian Express that director of the NGO, which cooked and supplied food to the school, is an AAP MLA's father-in-law. Kanwar Pal Singh, director of Jan Chetna Jagriti and Shaikshanik Vikas, he is father-in-law of Aam Admi Party Ambedkar Nagar MLA Ajay Dutt. So serious charges and breach of trust. The next move on to Times of India. Day after shrine blast, Pakistan killed 100 militant. Army, no more restraint for any more. Well, this is a lead story in Times of India, but it is very interesting. Every time people are killed in Pakistan, the Pakistan army becomes so proactive and that they kill militant which they otherwise don't find in their country. Otherwise, they claim that they don't have control on militant when these militant create a problem in neighboring India. When these militants create problem in their own country, then Pakistan is proactive and search these militants uh, and now they have killed 100 militants day after the shrine blast, which killed uh, a day after Islamic State group IS bomber killed nearly 80 pilgrims at Pakistan's most famous Sufi shrine in Sin. Security forces claimed to have eliminated around 100 militants in a countrywide crackdown. That's a very swift action. When your country is bleeding, you can kill 100 militant. When a neighboring, when you send militant to a neighboring country, you claim there is no militant in your country. That's a serious problem. International community is watching Pakistan's development. Moving on to the next story in the front page of Times of India, ex-star athlete caught peddling party drug. Harpreet Singh, who won a silver medal in discus throw at the Commonwealth Youth Games in Australia in 2004. Two years later, he won bronze at the Colombo Safe Games. The ex-international athlete has made news again, but for an entirely different reason. He was among three people arrested with a huge consignment of latest party drug in town, with the drug name is Mew Mew. Moving ahead to the Hindu newspaper, the lead story in Hindu says, Government junks border wall plan moves 24 by 7 seamless virtual fence with sensors to stop infiltration from Pakistan. In another story, 90% operations hit by stone throwers. JNK police says trend is growing. Around 90% of anti-militancy operations were hindered by stone throwing crowd in Kashmir Valley this year, resulting in the escape of over 12 militants. According to the assessment of JK police, here serious questions have been raised on in the policing and the serious question is also raised among the stone pelters who are considered to be a very uh, soft target and these stone pelters try to disrupt the activity of combing down and activity of gunning down militant by the police and the army combined. Moving on to the Hindustan Times newspaper. Number game wide open ahead of Tamil Nadu floor test today. Two rival camps in Tamil Nadu ruling party braced for an assembly trust vote on Saturday as experts indicate Chief Minister E. Palaniswamy's wafer-thin majority and several unhappy legislatures could make the floor test go down the wire. Parikar backs Rawat, says military has full freedom. Defense Minister Manohar Parikar has come to the defense of the army chief when he says on Friday that military commanders had full freedom to decide on how to conduct their operations against insurgents and terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir. Gangster kill men 
a man in Punjab flaunt video on Facebook live. Well, here is serious breach. Now Facebook is in question. How Facebook could manage or stop these uh, misadventures? To counter snag, Metro Station will get new card swipe machine. Delhi Metro is set to install 400 new card swipe machine. Facilitation of online transactions. Well, that's all we have in this edition of English newspapers published from New Delhi. Till we meet again next time tomorrow, it's goodbye from Pranav Prakha.